Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and this is Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I'm Christine, your mentor, your friend, your guide in the game. Man, if this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you. I'm also live on Instagram. Hey, Insta family, I see you. I see you, Stephanie and you, Mel. I see you. Um, if this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you to all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. Do you like my wig today? Yes. This is a little lace front. I'm, I'm, I had it on last night for an audition, and I was just feeling like, let me just, let me just be cute in these LA streets today. Shout out to Keena Ferguson, my wonderful, sweet friend. We got to spend some good girl time today. Um, and we were talking about some things, but I was like, before I take all this off, why not do a video for you? Happy Friday. So we can unwind together. Hey, Facebook. Hey, Instagram. Hey, Tuesday. Hey, Risha. Hey, Deanne. So today I'm talking about, this is episode 162. This is Actors Daily Bread. What's up, Brandon? If you have never seen Actors Daily Bread, whoo, you in for a treat. You can go to YouTube and catch up on a hundred and something videos. Uh, there's easily 180 videos. Y'all YouTubers, my YouTube audience, you guys know that. But I want to talk about how one bad audition won't end your career unless dot, dot, dot. So I'm going to talk about that unless. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the hearts. Yes, I appreciate it. I just want to give some more love shouts here because we made it to the end of the week. Well, I feel like my week has no end. I don't know. Tuesday is like Sunday to me, but I'll just, for the masses, we made it to the end of the week, y'all, TGIF. <laughs> hey, Tuesday. So, you know, this week I had the wonderful pleasure of coaching all of my members in my Booking Magnet Academy. That's my monthly membership. Shout out to all of my members here who are watching. And you guys will know this. We talked about this Monday. I also got to coach my inner circle VIP clients on Tuesday. And the same thing kept coming up for all of them. And I figured it's Friday. We're about to unwind, take, you know, literally take our, let our hair down or take it off. Okay. And like reflect on the week. So some of you may have had no auditions this week. Some of you may have had some that know you killed, but still didn't book it. You're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Some of you are in between in flux. You don't know if you should even give up, throw in the towel. And I want to talk, you know, one of my clients, she knows who she is. You know, she had a really sucky audition. Look, can, can we keep it? Can we keep it all the way real? And she called me and she was, I mean, really crushed and raise your hand if you've ever been there if you ever left an audition like yeah i didn't book that i have <laughs> and you know <laughs> y'all are so funny in these comments <laughs> and you know it was something i had to i had to do my tough love so if you don't know me i'm very direct but very loving it's all coming from a loving place and i don't think she called me and i'm not sure if she thought i don't know what she thought i was gonna say she was like christine it didn't go well uh, and i was like okay first of all i'm not buying tickets to your pity party so can we stop there that's number one number two i need you to think about what happened so sometimes we get all wrapped up in oh that audition didn't go as i planned or i was so i was so on it yesterday at home i was off book i was on it and i don't know what happened to me like i know what happened nerves happened doubt fear worry inner critic took over i know what happened and so for a moment so this is for you if you have experienced a horrible audition according to your standards right for whatever reason maybe you were stressed out i've had i had one of the worst um auditions before when i was like in the process of moving and we don't realize how much stress is on us sometimes when we're just living our life and trying to juggle everything and then we're like i don't know what's wrong with me am i just a horrible actor i should just give it up and like boo relax you don't you're you're negating all the other stuff going on in your life like you know your job your family your kids you know all your hustles like there's a lot on our minds as adults i'm talking to the adults in the group here right can you relate so sometimes we have to be a, be be kinder to ourselves on what we're going through but so this client calls me and this not this isn't just for her because i for monday and tuesday i had group calls with all my clients and the mindset stuff kept coming up the doubt what what's wrong with me why haven't i booked yada 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 and i'm just not the one y'all know am i lying stephanie and you 
Like, I'm not buying tickets to your pity party. So here's what you can do. Because you, in the moment, when you're all up in your feelings, you're like, oh God, my career is over. They gonna put me in, the, they gonna put my name in this imaginary book that I made up in my mind. They be like, <laughs> they be like, Dewan Johnson, Stephanie Green, locked. <laughs> like, that book is not here. How you learn from this, like this whole thing, your career is not, it won't end your career unless you decide that it's going to end. That's your word for the day. So when you're having, oh, this hair is hot though. Oh, I turn on the fan. Hold on, let me turn the fan on. It's okay, I'm in here with the dog. Woo. Uh-oh, I'm about to have a Beyonce blow. Watch. is not as strong as a Beyonce fan. But here's the deal. In our moment, when we're in our minds and our inner critic is taken over and we're having that moment of, oh my God. <laughs> and we're having that moment of, oh my God, like I totally screwed it up with this office. They're never gonna call me back or I'm never gonna get on the show. That is a decision you are now making. And that's why when clients call me freaking out, I can't be in agreement with you. And I want to challenge you today to not be in agreement with that either, because what's coming up is that inner critic. And all my clients know we give our inner critic a name. I talk a lot about this in my new book, Playing Small, coming out August 1st. <laughs> but I, I always talk about giving our inner critic a name so that you are so clear that it is not you talking to yourself, right? So the inner critic, mine is Veronica, all my clients know, if she starts talking loud and tell me that I'm not worthy, I'm no good, blah, 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 I know that's not Christine. That's not the God in me talking, because God is bigger than all that, okay? So I'm aware of that. So one bad audition will end your career unless you decide that that is what's going to happen. So here is how you come, combat that and come out of that. And I see all your comments. I'm going to come to those in a moment. You start by, and this is what I told my client on Monday, and she didn't want to hear it. Nobody does. I said, after you get out your feelings later today, have your feelings, acknowledge them. I honor those. Then tomorrow or tonight, I want you to get a piece of paper and replay the day. At what point, this is for all of you, when you've had nerves or something took over it, or you, it's the moment you gave your power away in the room, because that's what you do. When nerves and anxiety take over, that's like, here's my power, have it. I'm not gonna tell the story of this character that I worked so hard on, right? What, when did that power exchange happen? So if you are watching me, if you're watching live or in a replay, you've had a bad audition before. Let's just touch and agree that that has happened to all of us. If it hasn't, it, it's going to. The job is then to reverse engineer. When did it happen? When did things fall apart? And that takes courage to look at yourself and be like, okay, okay. I was good last night, I was good, but okay. We made dinner, okay, good, good, okay. Yeah, I put the kids to bed, okay. I had the lines, good, I, ooh, yeah, I was excited. The morning I put my makeup on, I was good, I was good, right? And then, right, okay, and then I, Got to the place, as soon as I parked, I started, okay, pause. What happened when you pulled into the parking spot? Well, I was running late because, ah, you was running late. As far as my client was concerned, what we found out when we did this exercise together the next day, we found out that she lost it when she didn't have her script in the room with her. And I kind of like, not kind of, I yelled at her. I was like, you know better than that. That's why I tell you bring the script in the room every time. But so for her, we reverse engineer because that's, so for each of you, there's a moment where things went south. And if you don't stand in that uncomfort, uncomfortable moment and relive it, because I know it's hard to relive when you see your, when you feel like you're falling to your death in that audition room. If you don't, if you don't go back, you can't adjust. These moments are meant for us to learn from so that we don't have to repeat them again. So for each of you, the last bad audition you had, I need you to go back, reverse engineer, and figure out when it started. Because what then happens is just one bad thing after the next. That happened, and that happened, and it's just, oh, that you have given up in the room. That glaze over happens in your eye. That's what happens to me. 
when I had bad auditions. <laughs> I had a really horrible audition for, I was telling my clients for NCIS once. It was after I had already been on NCIS. It was like NCIS LA or New Orleans. They were like, oh, she's been on the show. Let's bring her back. <laughs> And I was stressed. I was in the process of moving. I had two other auditions and it was a very technical like script. You know how some scripts are the way it's written. It just falls off your tongue. Like it's like as if you see that, right? I didn't want to bring it up, but, um, <laughs> but then there's some scripts that are very, are very technical or medical or have a lot of jargon that your, your mouth literally isn't used to saying. And I reversed, and I was like, that's why. And I was in that room, and I knew it was going poorly by the time I did it the second time. And I, I for Christine, I get a glaze over. And it becomes funny to me. <laughs> it becomes funny to me, because I know better. Like, I'm a beast. I'm a booking magnet. So when I'm having an off day, which we will all have, it then becomes comical. Because I'm like, you got to sit here for another two minutes. And I'd be like, mm hmm And then like, okay. I'm like, and I say to them, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and then I just smile and leave. Like, that was horrible. <laughs> so to all my clients, those of you who I've never worked with, those of you who watch me silently, because I know there's many of you who don't comment, but you do watch, and I'm sending you love too, just know this too shall pass. The power that it has is the power that you give it. So you can choose to be a victim to the moment, you can choose to say, what was me? Or you can choose to be like, yo, I'm never experiencing that shit, excuse me, ever again in life. What happened? And literally write it down in your journal, in your acting notebook, whatever, and be like, this will never happen again. That was my moment. The first time I lived in LA, for those of you who don't know me, I lived in LA the first, after I got done with Broadway and doing The Lion King, I moved to, to, to LA like 2011-ish. And I was like, hey Broadway, hey LA, I'm here. You know, my clients know this story. And the first big audition was for what I now know was the show Single Ladies. Ma'am, and I'm, I'm like a lot of y'all, I didn't know what I didn't know. Clothing was wrong, I had like a midriff on. I didn't know what, it was a hot mess. I praise God for wisdom because it was a hot mess. And I remember crying my face off in my car when I left that audition. And that lady was looking at me like, oh, she's wasting my time. And I was crushed. I was embarrassed. I started stumbling over my, my words. I knew I was a good actor. Hell, I've been on Broadway for five, you know, touring with a Broadway show for five years. Like I've done film. So why in this moment did I feel like a worthless, talentless actor? Because I didn't know what I didn't know. But what I do know is when I left that room and after my eyes got dry, I promised myself to never let that happen again. And the rest is history. So for those of you watching who are too proud, think you know everything, think you don't need a coach, think you don't need no help, think you don't need to study, rehearse, and all that stuff, I'm here to tell you, you don't, you don't know what you don't know. But if you can humble yourself to be like, yo, I don't know. Can you, somebody need to tell me. Call a friend. If you ain't got money for a coach, read with a friend. I have several friends who are like, Christine, can we do a FaceTime? Friends, not clients. And, but, and I have clients who pay me, invest in me because we get results because we all have blocks. It's hard to see the picture, how to see the picture. Well, how to say, it's hard to see the frame when you're in the picture. So yeah, that's my, my mess. I'm gonna come to these comments, but yeah, just put that in your spirit. For those of you, if you might've had a rough week, you might've had some close calls, some pins that didn't turn into bookings, right? Some, some really things, some things that you really wanted. I wanna make sure that you're not just beating up on yourself thinking you don't have it because you didn't book it. We cannot, attach our value and our worth to a single booking. And if you suck at an audition, I, I can't mince words. If your audition sucked, and sometimes they will, brush it off, learn from it, and move on. Because if you decide to sit in it, I'm not coming to sit there with you. And if you're a real friend to an actor, don't sit in it with them. You're not, you're not supporting them in any way. If my friends, would we'll be like, okay, what happened? I don't know, I just, it just went so bad. Okay, but what happened though? How were you feeling? 
When was the last time you talked to your actor friend about how they were feeling in their heart and their spirit? What else was going on with them? Because I bet once we do that, then we get to the root of the issue. But so many times you want to be friends with people on the surface. Oh, girl, I'm so sorry, girl. Meanwhile, your friend had a, a bomb audition. She's like, so sorry. <laughs> Versus how did, how were you affected? What's going on with you? What else is going on within you? Because I bet that's all that is coming up. Let me come to these comments. Thank you, Instagram. I see you. Thank you, Facebook. So that's the word for today. Listen, if this is your first time watching me again, I want to welcome you on my replay watches. I love you guys. If you are not on my mailing list, if you haven't, for Instagram, if you don't have my free five-part training, click the link in my bio and get my free five-part training on how to book more work if you desire to work in film and TV like I do. Facebook, same thing. The link is above. I'm going to come to Facebook. There's a bunch of comments on Facebook. Hi, Wendy. Happy birthday, Wendy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You want to come say hi? Dear Wendy, happy birthday to you. And many more. Thank you, Prince. Okay, okay. I need my makeup to stay on. Let's read the comments. This is Prince, if you don't know Prince. That's my bull massive baby. Look. Don't bark. Please don't bark. Shh. Usually I kick him out. He's never in the room with me. But he was sleeping and effing chill. Okay. Uh, let's read the comments, Prince. Okay. I don't want kisses right now. Okay. Hey, Kathleen. Okay. You're doing too much. <laughs> no. Ugh. Just 100 pounds. That's how I keep these arms together. <laughs> Hey, Melanie, shout out to the Actors Lounge podcast. Mel V on the line. Yes. All right. All right. Let's come to these comments. And you, Mel, y'all just talking to each other. You like the hair. Thank you. Good old lace front. I had an audition last night. This is for the sidebar. Oftentimes my clients, especially my black, my, my black clients, my sisters be like, am I allowed to change my hair? What my headshot looks like this? Like my headshot is a short haircut, but if the cat is about what the character needs. Every character don't need my short hair. So we put this little boop. <laughs> boop. Ah, uh, let's see. Pity parties, yes, Annie Mel, no pity parties. All right, I'm just checking the comments. Y'all just kind of talking to each other in these comments. Hey, Neil, hey, Ursula. Um, Arisha, shout out to Arisha. She says, I've learned lots of lessons in auditions and my booking this week. Hey, booking. Come on, booking. One of my clients, shout out to Arisha Connor Frierson. Um, each one, there's a lesson and I appreciate the lessons. Absolutely. Hey, Freddie Hendricks. Hey, Tuesday. Um, yes, keep a journal. I, I'm a big believer and a big proponent of journals. I have several. I mean, I got little notebooks all over the place. Cause I'm a note. I think I'm a notebook junkie. I'm like, ooh, this one makes me feel of these like that. I like. I have this one. This is my. This is golden. I like this one. It just depends. But I have one specifically for acting notes, and then I have like this big old unsexy <laughs> notebook for my coaching, for my with my coach. Um. Let's see. Oh, y'all are just being very complimentary in the chat box. No questions. All right. And I appreciate that. Thank you guys for hanging out on this Friday. Um, yes, it's been a wonderful day. You know, as we end this week, you know, as you think about what's new for you, again, if you want my help, you don't got to stay stuck. Even if you don't know if you really want to do this for real yet, click the link in my bio, click the link above if you're on Facebook and just dive in and just get some get some encouragement we have an amazing facebook group that's totally free and accessible to all of you it's called the hollywood bound actors facebook group again if you're on instagram click the link in my bio and there's a link to that hey brian um brian you got a call back hey shout out to brian who dancer extraordinaire who also took some of my tips and is like I'm killing it congratulations listen guys <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No tickets to the pity parties. Exactly. All right, I'm going to wrap. But guys, as you as you reflect as the week ends, think about what worked. Think about what didn't work. Repeat what worked. Just don't repeat what didn't work. One bad audition won't end your career unless you decide it will. All right? Thank you for the love on the hair, you guys. I'm switching up. I got so much love on the hair. And I have my Beyonce fan going on. It's coming back. <laughs> 
All right, I'm silly. Let me take this dog out for a walk. Thank you guys for watching. If you missed any part of this, the replay will be available very shortly. Have a great night. Bye. I'm going to end on Facebook first. Bye, you guys.